What's up, YouTube world? It's the Atlanta Analyst here, back with another video. So today, well, this video, we're going to be talking about the Brooklyn Nets and the Boston Celtics. My prediction on what I think is going to happen and what I think can occur in this series, okay? So let's move my mic just a little bit. There we go. What I think is going to happen in this series, boy, oh boy, this series is going to be extremely interesting. And I only say this because one, if you think about the Boston Celtics, they have a reputation of at least getting to the second round of the playoffs. What are the Eastern Conference Finals? I mean, if you look at Brad Stevens, he's been to the Eastern Conference Finals for his four years. I mean, he's a great coach. He's such a, he's, he's, he's such a good coach. Okay? So, now if you look at that, and then you look at Steve Nash and the Brooklyn Nets, okay. The Brooklyn Nets are so good. But you have to look at Boston and their potential with Kimber Walker, um, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart. Those are all great defensive players. So, if you look at that, it's easily Now, in my opinion, I think it's easily a seven-game series. Even with James Harden, Blake Griffin, uh, Kevin Durant, um, Kyrie Irving, you know, DeAndre Jordan. With all those guys, it's a seven-game series, hands down. Hands down. Seven-game series. In favor of who? This is where the question, this is this is where everything comes in at. In favor of who? Well, in my opinion, it's tough. It's tough. It really is tough. But in my opinion, I think... Game seven, it's in Brooklyn. You know, I'm gonna have to go with the Brooklyn Nets in game seven. I have to. Brooklyn Nets in game seven just makes the most sense. But it's very, very important to take into consideration Boston is a tough team. Boston's not gonna just get swept by the Nets. I mean, Jason Tatum and Kimball Walker, those guys are locked in. You know, Mark is smart. Mark, everyone on that team was trying to get a ring. James Harden trying to get his ring. You know, he's trying to get up there with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and get his ring. But let me tell you, uh, it's going to be a tough series. It's going to be an aggressive series. There might be one or two fights. You never know. I mean, hey, there might be a couple fights. Um, and then you look at the way that the. The Celtics just play so tough. You know, they play so tough. If they would have had a full roster against the Knicks, they would have beat the Knicks. Blew them out. Look at the way they play Washington. They play with total intensity. They don't give up. To, they play to the end. And that's what I like about Celtics. I like about Brad Stevens and uh, his teams. They, they play to the end. Now, I got I to gotta tell you, think about Steve Nash and the Brooklyn Nets. They play tough all the time. But the Hawks beat the Nets. I mean, the Hawks beat both of these teams. Um, and I only say that because they're they're beatable. It, every team, I think, has beat them, except for the teams that they swept. So if you look at the the way things can go, they can either go far left and go into the uh, favor of Boston or far right in favor of the Brooklyn Nets. Now, if you think about what Brooklyn has done. They've added three key stars. They're not really a good team. If you take away those three stars, they're a bad team. You got Joe Harris, who can make a lot of shots. Without without those three, I'm giving Brooklyn an eight seed. I'm giving Brooklyn a solid eight seed without Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. I'm giving them a solid eight seed. Because Joe Harris, and uh, without that trade, Karis LeVert would still be there. So, um, Karis LeVert and all those Shaman who's doing so well. You look at all those guys, even with Kyrie there, you put Kyrie back there. Um, I mean, just Kyrie alone with no Durant, no, no, no one. I think they're solid seven or six seed. Durant has pushed them up that high. He's so good. Look, you, you look at James Harden. James Harden is a good player. He is. He's a ball hog. You know, he takes every shot, but he's a great player. Um, I think 
He's one of the best in the league. Uh, definitely my top ten. Definitely my top ten. Um, but it's very int- It's gonna be interesting to see. Um, it's gonna be. It's gonna be really interesting to see. Now Boston. Um, Boston just to travel. I think Boston might steal one game on the road in Brooklyn while they're there before they come back home to Boston to play. They might still win. If they don't, they got to win both in Boston. It's just, it's no other way to put it. They have to win both in Boston if they lose both in Brooklyn to start off the series. But, you know, things are going to be interesting. And, um, may the best team win in that series because the winner of that series is going to play the winner of Miami and Milwaukee, which I got a video coming up with that probably the next one, the video after my next one. So, guys, you all have a good one, and um, remember to look in the description because all my links are in the description, and all the game information is in the description. So, with that being said, you all have a nice one.